Hi and welcome to Home Assistant How To with Bearded Tinker. Today we are going to play with the Synology chat and we will be integrating it inside Home Assistant. We'll start in 10 seconds. As always, before we go any further, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my channel. Thank you very much for all of your support and also thanks to everybody who watched, subscribed or liked my videos. Thank you! And now, let's get started with today's video. There are a tons of options for notifications inside Home Assistant. For example, I myself am using Telegram as a primary source of notifications but I also use my Google devices, such as Google Homes and Google Displays, to send me notifications text-to-speech. Besides that, of course, I also push some notifications to my Discord server, so you can track there when there are some changes or updates in my GitHub repository. Then, also, I'm using mobile application. And yes, there are various other options for you to send or receive notifications or even use your notification platform as a way to control Home Assistant. And while most of them are free for you to use, you are relying mostly on the servers that are located somewhere else. And we did install Home Assistant to keep everything private. So if you already have Synology, why not give a try to Synology Chat? For me, Synology Chat looks something similar to Google Chat, what it was before, and also a Telegram, but without that fancy graphics and images. So what can you do? With Synology Chat, as is, you can use it to communicate with the other users that are registered on your Synology server. So any user that has account there, or if you are corporation, any user that has Active Directory account can install and if allowed, can use Synology Chat. But we will be using it for Home Assistant notifications. So let's get started. First thing we have to do is install Synology Chat, and that's pretty simple. In your Synology, go to Package Center, All Packages, and just type here Chat. Press Install. These are the prerequisites, so we need to install Python version 3, Node.js version 12, and Synology application service. Yes. And here it is, Synology chat server is now installed. Okay, let me first show you something. When you click on a main menu, you will see now two new packages or two new applications available. This is a Synology Chat admin console and it is used to configure chat and this one is Synology Chat. This is a client that will pop up in a separate window that you can use as a chat application. And yes, you may also enable guest access if you want to have your friends here or you can create accounts that have, for example, access only to this Synology Chat application. That way your friends can communicate with you with a secure platform that is located on your Synology. So, first things first, let's look at Synology Chat Admin Console. I will not be covering everything, but we need to see some settings because some of them may be used later on in our integration process. This is the configuration page, it's very short. So, let's start. Allow encrypted channels. This is not something that we will be using, but it allows you to uh, enable encryption on the channels per user request, meaning that two people can communicate between each other on encrypted channel and then even admin cannot see the messages. Allow uploads from disk station? We will enable this because who knows, maybe later on we'll be posting images from our cameras from Home Assistant, so let's leave this enabled. Disable Google Safe Browsing from checking URLs? You can do that. Account type, for me, it's a local user because I do not have any uh, Active Directory or LDAP anywhere on the network, so I'm using local users. Auto-adding allows you for all future members or accounts that are created on Synology to have access to chat and they will be automatically added to the chat list, so anybody can tag them. We are not interested currently in that. We can leave this as is. 
we can enable auto deletion, but we have plenty of space and I don't see currently possibility for chat to grow anywhere in size to jeopardize my space. Later on, if needed, I can enable this. As I mentioned, there is an option to allow guest access. But I do not have SMTP set up on this system, so I cannot do that. You can use nicknames instead of usernames in the push notifications, which I myself have enabled and I will also enable it here. Let's press OK. Log. Here you can see all the activity, system activity, on the Synology chat. Lookup allows you to search either for the URL types, usernames, hashtags, etc. And the channel management allows you to control and monitor and of course work with the channels. But since this is a new installation, I only have uh, two channels, general and random, and private channel, I do not have any. This is it. Now let's open chat, because we will need something from chat to make our integration inside Home Assistant work. For this, let's press Synology chat. A new window will pop up. Here is the brief introduction to how to use it. You can view all channels in your network. You can create a threads, add messages, etc. Here are some additional options, but we want this to be enabled because we need our name. User interface is very similar to, for example, Slack, but we will not be covering that. And yes, you have option of installing chat clients on a Windows, Macintosh, and Linux machines, plus I have on my mobile phone, on Android mobile phone, Android app. The iOS version also exists. But as I said, we need a couple of things. First, as you can see, we have two channels here. We will later on create additional channel just for our bot. And this is my private space. Let's click on a name, integrations, and here we will be using for now incoming webhooks. Incoming webhooks allows us to use external service to push notifications to Synology chat. So we have to click here, create a new one, customize name, home assistant. And here we can select if we want to push this to general or random or MySpace. But for this, we will create a new channel. New channel name will be Home As Assistant Notifications from our Home Assistant. We can select if we want this to be private or public channel. I will make it public. Create. So we now have here the name of this integration. It will be called Home Assistant. It will be posting to Home Assistant channel, the new channel we created, and the last part is something that we need to copy. Let's stop a bit here. At this point, there are various options. For example, this is my recording setup and it doesn't have access to outside. This is why I'm using HTTP instead of HTTPS. And this is the path or the full URL with the token that I will be using for this integration. Let me copy it because I will be needing it a little bit later. If you have exposed your Synology to outside, here you would say your domain name with the same path here and the port where this is enabled. Usually this is your HTTPS port because you know you shouldn't expose HTTP traffic without any further security. So HTTPS, your domain name, a port that you're using for HTTPS connections, and this is the URL that has to be included. My recommendation is, if you are already doing that, please go to reverse proxy and set up specific domain just for that. For example, if you are using reverse proxy in Synology or application proxy, you can specify specific subdomain, for example, chat.yourdomain.com, without the port number, and use that to access Synology chat. OK, we are done here for now. Let's press OK. We have now copied everything. Let's close this and let's go to Home Assistant. As you can see, we now have a new Home Assistant bot. And when we push notifications from Home Assistant, we will be using this bot. Next step is to go to Home Assistant. 
In Home Assistant, we now have to create new notifications platform. You can do this either in Visual Studio Code, File Editor or any text editor. Let's open Visual Studio Code. And depending on how your configuration looks, this should be inside your configuration YAML file. Let's go to configuration YAML file. Let's search here for notifications. You can see Notify Platform. I already have a couple of notification platforms here. One, two, three, four, and we will be now adding fifth. Let me add comment, Synology chat. And this is what we have to write here. Platform, Synology, chat. We will give it a name. Sino chat, which is shorter for Synology. And the last thing we have to do here is we have to specify the webhook. Resource. And let's paste the code that we copied from the Synology chat. And no, this is not how it will look at the end. I will remove it. And add it to my secret file. Sino chat webhook. But yes, in a secrets.yaml file, you have to specify Sino chat webhook and paste there the code that we copied from the Synology chat client. Let me do that quickly. Okay, I've added the Sino chat webhook inside my secrets file. Let's go to configuration. Server control, check configuration, and hopefully I didn't make any typo. And let's restart our home assistant. I hope that you did like this video so far, and if you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. It means a lot to me, but it also helps with the YouTube algorithms. Thank you. And loading has finished. Let's go to developer tools. services and let's type here notify we have here new notification platform sino chat let's go to ui let's type a message please subscribe thanks and let's call this service if we now go to synology in Synology chat, we will see notification from our Home Assistant bot telling us to subscribe. So the principle of using Sino chat or Synology chat is same as for any other notification platform inside Home Assistant. The one option I will not be covering in this video is how to set up reverse connection. There are two ways I didn't play with it, but they should be pretty simple. One is to use integration outgoing webhooks, where you can create trigger words, meaning trigger inside chat, for example, turn lights off, and then call specific URL of your home assistant. And then in automations, you would be using webhook automation with that exactly same token here, that would trigger home assistant to do something when these trigger words shows. But as I said, I will not be using it. And the other option, of course, is to use slash commands or bots, which is a bit more complex. So using incoming webhooks is used to push notifications from Home Assistant to your Synology chat, and you can use outgoing webhooks to push things from this chat inside your Home Assistant. This can be either triggering lights, automations, pulling statistics from the system, etc. I'm using that with Telegram a lot. So how would you use this in your automations? That's simple. It is the same as you would use any other platform. For example, let's go to configuration, automations, add automation, start with empty one, Sino chat something. Trigger, for example, 
let's be home assistant start action would be call service notify see a chat message would be Synology is starting up save this so now anytime Synology starts we will receive notification inside our chat Synology is starting up you can of course try and use here the variables but for this video I will not be doing it let's try if this works let's animations Type here Sino chat something and let's run this action. It has been triggered, and here you can see that Synology is starting up. But to be sure that it is working, let me restart my home assistant. Configuration, server control, check configuration, restart. Home assistant is currently rebooting, first it needs to shut down. And when it starts up, we will receive notification here in the chat. And yes, this is a test setup and it can take a couple of minutes. And here it is. Eight minutes later, I received notification. And yeah, I did make a typo. This should be Home Assistant is starting up, not Synology. This is it for this Home Assistant how-to with Bearded Tinker. I really do hope that you did enjoy this video and that you did find it useful. If you have any kind of a question, comment for this video or any previous video I did, you can always find me on the Discord server and the link to Discord server is down in the description of the video. But feel free to leave comment down in the comment section below. If you did find this video useful or liked it, please give me a thumbs up, it really means a lot. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notification on the future updates and streams of course and i'll be seeing you next time until then bye bye and have fun